What's up guys, it's European Coffee Trip. Today we are in Berlin and we are here at Happy Baristas. And we came to Happy Baristas because they do something called Nitro Coffee. And we want to actually explore what is it and how it's made. Yes. So here at Happy Baristas we are going to meet two owners, Marianne and Roland, who are one of the pioneers of uh, Nitro Coffee in whole Europe. There was almost nothing, so they have to figure out themselves and that's the reason why we came here, to ask them what is it and how is it made. We came actually here because we want to know a little bit more about the nitro coffee. It's something people heard about, something that maybe people tried, but what is actually nitro coffee for the people who have no idea what is nitro coffee? Simply put, um, I think we do cold brew coffee, which is charged with nitrogen and served on a tap like a beer. So the nitrogen, it gives the drink really this creamy, creamy mouthfeel. It gives it a really white, foamy head, like a Guinness beer. Um, and it doesn't really affect the taste itself, but it affects the way you perceive the taste. So it kind of plays a little trick on your, on your mind, and that's why it's very important uh, what, what coffees do we choose for, for the nitro drinks, because we always have to then um, taste it as a final product after it's being pumped with the nitrogen and see how it actually really tastes like. I think when we first met and started talking about let's make a cafe together, we were looking for a specific thing that could set us apart. And um, at that time, no one was doing nitro coffee in Berlin or I think neither in Europe really. And we've seen this trend in states, and we just said, okay, let's let's figure this out. <laughs> I think it was also, if you remember, one of the reasons why we wanted to do nitro coffee is to give the effect of a, of a coffee with with milk, but without having the milk in it. Mm. Um, to teach people that are drinking uh, milk coffees that you can actually drink a black coffee, but also get the texture and the sweetness that they would get out of a milk coffee. Um, I think it's a very nice way to bring, to bring black coffees to people. Yeah, it's really like, uh, yeah, drinking coffee and somehow mix with the milk, sweet and like a little bitter. I have to try it right now. And so if I would have an espresso, filter coffee and the nitro coffee next to each other, how, you know, what are the differences? How um, for me, like the espresso is the, the thing that you just really need to sip quickly and you're, you're good to go. Um, the filter for me, that's for someone who has time and wants to slow down and enjoy the vibe, the atmosphere, the coffee itself. And the nitro is, um, I don't know, I never really thought about it. For nitro is just, yeah, it's a great summer drink, really. I think if I can add one way of looking at the difference, espresso, filter or a nitro, maybe you could tie it into alcoholic drinks. So espresso, a shot, a filter, maybe a wine, because you want to be tasting the different filters yeah. that you have, and a nitro, a beer. Now I would like to ask you about actually the step. I think the first is the, the coffee itself, choosing the right coffee, of course. Then, of course, next step, the recipe, like the cold brew recipe, how long, what are the ratios, do we want to have it strong, do we want to have it on the lighter side, so figuring out all of this. Um, and once we have the recipe, then the technical side of uh, introducing the gas. That's, that's, I think that's the, like the, one of the most important parts, to figure it out, the time, the pressure, and um, yeah, even what kind of a gas, even though we're talking about nitros, we had a bit of a do you do just pure nitrogen or do you do a, a gas mix? Or, so that was also uh, yeah, very important to figure out. In the end, uh, the whole 
situation with kegs, of course, finding out the right course. kegs. How do you keg that? How do you clean sanitize those things? How do you make it all hygiene safe? What's the, what's the longevity of the product? The, the good thing about nitrogen is that when you get all the air out and you just have nitrogen, it seals the product so it doesn't oxidize and it doesn't go off or at least for a certain period of time, of course. If you have a coffee in it, um, it lasts for a couple of weeks. I think the benefit, the benefit of having a nitro on tap, um, nitro brews on tap will be ease of, ease of uh, service. You literally, the barista literally just needs to pull the tap down and uh, his drink is finished. He can serve his drink. Obviously the preparation and the production is, is another story, but that we do after hours. That's not something that the barista will do while the customer is waiting. Um, nitro brews are also very profitable drink. I think this is important in this time in the coffee industry where, where our margins are under pressure. Um, so, you're, you're talking about big batches, so you're getting you're getting good economies of scale as well. When you when you when you're talking about larger batches of of coffee and tea, so really for the summer, a nitro brew is a fantastic drink for a for a, for, a, for a coffee shop to to sell. And also, um, in terms of if we're talking about the coffee shop environment uh, space, it saves a lot of space because you don't need bottles in fridges. So you, you only have the taps on top of your counter and that's it. So there's a lot of engines, like saving on space. Saving on space and, and saving workflow. the environment as well. You don't, have to, you don't have to have these big trucks that are delivering you bottles. It is actually one of the, one of the biggest things why we, I for completely forgot that why we wanted to do this. It's because I hate, I hate getting deliveries every single week of like the crates. crates of bottled drinks and then you always need to have the, the crates with empty bottles stored somewhere for yeah. them to pick it up. That takes so much space and they, they always come in the worst time of the day when you're completely busy at the lunch are like, we came to pick up the bottles. And you're like, that's not. So there's one of, actually one of the biggest reasons why we didn't want to do this. I think uh, Nitro Coffee has a potential to teach people that do not know about coffee um, that there's so much more that you can do with coffee. No, I think having taps in, in coffee shops and serving drinks from a tap, I think that is one of the ways for coffee shops to go in future because it really, it just has so many advantages. And the nitro is like we said, we, we discovered that nitro tea and, uh, and we're pushing it even further with the nitro beers with coffee and lemonade. So there's a lot of options there that people will probably then look into and start experimenting more, started taking coffee as an ingredient and start looking for other ways in our industry that like the coffee shops can go. So we hope that now you understand way better what the nitro coffee is. If you want to try it, just stop by here in Happy Barista, Berlin. And if you like the video, smash the bell like button, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.